that have come in, sir. No additional communications at this time, Madam President. Okay, then we will turn to Senator Townsend. Thank you, Madam President. I yield to Senator Hansen for purposes of Senate concurrent resolution number 21. Senator Hansen. Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to ask that Senate concurrent resolution 21 be brought before the Senate and read in by title only. Okay, as lifted from the table, we will read in Senate concurrent resolution number 21. Senate concurrent resolution number 21, sponsored by Senators Townsend, Huxtable, Hansen, and Representative Phillips and others, designating June 9, 2023 as Fresh Freshwater Wetlands Day in the state of Delaware. Madam President, that concludes the reading of Senate concurrent resolution number 21 by title only. Thank you, Mr. Reading Clerk. Appreciate that. Senator Hansen, we turn to you for Senate Concurrent Resolution 21. Thank you, Madam President. Um, do I ask for a pre can I have special privilege of the floor for some guests here today? Yes, personal privilege. Yes, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, so, uh, freshwater wetlands are, de are, vibe are Delaware's. Uh, part of Delaware's vibrant and diverse ecosystem. But every year, we lose more and more of these important resources to development and to other human-driven activities. Delaware is the only state in the Mid-Atlantic region without a state-level freshwater wetland program. Instead, we have relied upon ineffective and inconsistent federal jurisdiction with some state overlap for certain resources, leaving nearly 30,000 acres completely unprotected. We're very fortunate in the state of Delaware to have Doc, Dr. Doug Tallamy. That's part of the University of Delaware. He spent 42 years now a professor of entomology and wildlife ecology studying what's been going on with our, our native species in our state and what we've basically seen, and you've heard the statistic before, we've lost 41% of Delaware's dated, uh, Delaware native bird species that depend on forest cover, 40% of our native plant species, 31% of our amphibian and reptile species, 20% of our native fish species, those are gone. And the drivers are habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, climate change, and invasive species. So we've, we've spent some time talking about invasive species. We've passed, resolu we've passed uh, bills about this. There'll be more about them in the future. There'll also be more with regard to climate change and what we're doing on the energy front. But today we're talking about freshwater wetlands and the need to protect our freshwater wetlands because that addresses those two other drivers. It addresses habitat loss and habitat fragmentation. So freshwater wetlands, you might have heard them before referred to as uh, non-tidal wetlands. They are the home for so many of our native species that we are losing. They're also, they also provide uh, re reduction in flood damage by capturing and slowing uh, water. They purify our state's surface water, groundwater, and water supply. They protect against flooding by providing sediment and erosion control and support economic development related to waterfowl hunting, bird watching, and other re outdoor recreation. So in order to raise awareness about what's going on with our freshwater wetlands and about what, how valuable they are and the importance of them for the state of Delaware, last January, Representative uh, Sophie Williams and I joined with the Department of Education and about a dozen environmental and community organizations to develop and implement a statewide educational project for students and adults of all ages throughout Delaware to learn about the value and importance of wetlands. So there's a couple of things uh, that you have in the, we have in the General Assembly today. Up on the second floor, we have some wonderful prints by our local artists that I'll announce here, John Donato, which are actually prints of uh, Delaware freshwater wetland species. And everyone should have on your desk a, one of the copies of those prints. So there were about 10 or so prints of specific Delaware threatened west, uh, freshwater wetland species that were developed as part of this program. And we uh, had then, through the Department of Education, had them printed on these beautiful cards. And then you see a little bit about the Freshwater Wetlands Project on the back. So everybody should have one of those. Um, the Delaware Nature Society hosted the website. So if you go on the Delaware Nature Society, they tell you all about the Freshwater Wetlands Project that, uh, that uh, was hosted. Uh, on May 31st, we had a special reception at the Museum of Nature and Science, where the students presented uh, their art and essay um, 
projects. We had a, a large art and essay uh, contest where hundreds of students throughout the state participated. Um, and today, it sort of culminates in a fr the passage of this resolution, which will be recognizing Freshwater Wetlands Day in Delaware to be on June the 9th, at which point we'll have an awards presentation for all of the students that have participated in our project over the last, well, since January. So it's been quite some time. But I wanted to make sure that we brought up the partners, some of the representatives of the partner organizations that we've been working with since January on this project and, and provide some recognition for them. So first we have Tanya Mead and Lauren Conrad from the Department of Education who are here with us. They have been tremendous partners in putting this together. Actually figuring out the contest, getting the information out to all of the teachers, art teachers and, and uh, science teachers throughout the state of Delaware, that then that information gets to the students to be a part of the project, learn about freshwater wetlands. We also have Mark Nardone here from the Delaware Nature Society. Uh, as I mentioned, the Delaware Nature Society was wonderful about actually ho being the host website of this particular project. We have the Nature Conservancy here, Emily Neural. We have our Delaware Sierra Club representative, Cheryl Siskin, who's also representing uh, Plastic Free Delaware. Oh, in the back there, there she goes. Um, and importantly, we have uh, Sarah O'Donnell here from the Daughters of the American Revolution. The Daughters of the American Revolution have just been wonderful partners with, they were the judges in the contest here, but also the DAR was a huge part of bringing this together. And they were a part of our project last year with, with the Sea Turtle Project, you might remember that. So Denrec was also a partner, Kim Siegel was part of that. I don't know if she is here with us. Um, the Brandywine River Restoration Trust, Jen Parrish, who some of you might remember from a little bit of time here in the General Assembly as part of my office. And of course, we have the wonderful artist, John Donato, who is here, not dressed in his usual painter clothes, so I hardly recognize him, but he is the artist that actually did the beautiful artwork that's upstairs on the second floor on the easels, the uh, reprints that you have on your desk here. So I did want to mention as well, like I said, we have a couple of hundred students that participated in this. We have a number of student winners. We have a couple of the student winners here today that I just want to point out to you. Um, one in particular, Hillary Shen from North Star Elementary. She actually placed first in our art and essay contest for elementary schools throughout the state of Delaware. And she's, she wants to be a Supreme Court Justice, so I think that's wonderful. She's gonna have her work cut out for her, particularly since the Supreme Court just recently sort of peel, peeled back protections for freshwater wetlands. So we've got, we've, we've got a job for you to do. We have a job for you to do. Um, I'd also rec like to recognize Victoria Parrish from Apo High School, first place in the essay contest for Newcastle County High School. Anna Parrish from Apo High School, second place in the art contest for Apo. And Java Lee from Apo High School, second place in the essay contest for Newcastle County Schools. You know, it's, it's appropriate. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming down here and being a part of this. This was, this was actually the civics and government portion of this project. We want them to learn about freshwater wetlands. We want them to become engaged in what, what they are through, um, through essay and art contests, through celebrations at the Delaware Museum of Natu uh, Nature and Science, which we had last week and recognized all the students there, but then also understanding how government works, that this is the part of the, the government process where we're gonna be passing a resolution, Senate Concurrent Resolution 21, to recognize Freshwater Wetlands Day in Delaware. So thank you, and with that, Madam President, I would like to ask for a roll call. Great. Okay, Mr. Secretary, kindly take roll on Senate current, current resolution number 21. Senator Brown. Yes. Senator Buxton. Yes. yes. Senator Gay. Yes. Senator Hansen. Yes. Yes. Senator Hawker. Yes. yes. Senator Hoffner. Yes. Yes. Senator Huxtable. Yes. Yes. Senator Lawson. Yes. yes. Senator Lockman. Yes. Yes. Senator Mansavinos. Yes. yes. Senator McBride. Yes, Senator Pardee. Yes. Yes, Senator Pettyjohn. Yes. yes, Senator Pinckney. Yes. Yes, Senator Poor. Yes. 
Yes. Senator Richardson. Yes. Senator Sokola. Yes. Senator Sturgeon. Yes. Senator Townsend. Yes. Senator Walsh. Yes. Senator Wilson. Yes. Madam President, the roll call on Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 21. 21 yes. Having received the required sufficient number of votes, Senate Concurrent Resolution 21 declare a pass the Senate. And before the ladies leave, we have as